Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your domain name to Hostinger. So you have a domain name that is registered at a different company and you want to set up your website at Hostinger. If this is the case, you need to point your domain name to your Hostinger server in order for your website to work properly. So here I am logged into my Hostinger account. I'm also logged into my Namecheap account where I have a domain name. This is what I'm going to use in this uh, example. And if we go here and refresh the browser, we can see that this domain name does not point to any website right now. Okay, so first things first. To point your domain name to your web hosting, it's uh, very easy. Basically, you just need to replace the name servers provided by your web host and change it in your domain registrar. So in my case, in Namecheap. In case you don't know what a name server is, they kind of help to translate human readable domain names into the IP addresses that computers use to communicate with each other. So when I type this domain name in my browser, in the background, this domain name has to point to an IP address to connect to my website. So when, when we type the domain name into the browser, the computer needs to know the IP address of that server that hosts the website. To find out the IP address, the computer sends a request to a name server, which is kind of like a, a phone book for domain names. The name server looks up the IP address associated with the domain name and sends it back to your computer, which then uses it to connect to the web server and eventually load the website. If it's sent it too technical, don't worry about it. It's very easy. Basically, we just need to change a few texts and that's it. So let's, uh, let's get started. So I need this uh, domain name, actually. But first, we need to add this domain name to my hosting. So at Hostinger, I'll go to Websites, Create or Migrate a Website. Um, let's say it's going to be a blog. Doesn't really matter. I will skip this step and just create an empty website. I don't want to claim a free domain name right now, but this is a really cool thing with Hostinger. They give you a free domain name for one year, I think. I don't want to buy a new domain name. I want to use an existing domain. So I will select this option. I will just enter the domain name here. Click continue. Okay, so, so Hostinger quickly gives me some information about the domain name. So it's registered with Namecheap. And currently, these are the name servers that are set for this domain name. Obviously, we need to change this. And these are the name servers that Hostinger uses. So we need to change these to these name servers. Okay, so let me just copy the first one. And uh, let's go back to Namecheap. And here I will click on Manage. So I'm inside the settings of the domain name. Here I can see the name servers that are currently set. And these are exactly the ones that Hostinger showed us here. Okay, we need custom. We need to leave this on custom DNS. And let's change this. Let's copy the second one. Okay, and we click this little save icon. Okay, so the settings are saved. You can see that the warning here says that DNS servers update may take up to 48 hours. In my experience, it takes a lot less. Probably it should be okay within 10, 15 minutes. But uh, let's, uh, let's wait and see. So, okay, so here we are actually done. We don't really need to do anything else here. We can go back to Hostinger and click continue. Okay, so here Hostinger says that we need to connect the domain name 
to their name servers from the current register name chip but we've already done that so let's just uh, uh, let me just click connect here okay let's okay so it basically just uh, guides you through what we already done and uh, okay so it found the old name servers uh, it says that we need to change these name servers to their name server settings but we've already done that click continue and all set finish um, in the meantime they installed ssl as well uh, okay let me just get rid of this and let's click uh, view website it may not work just yet mm -hmm. so it's just a preview so it's not working yet but it will work very soon uh, let me just refresh this here and um, actually we already get the default hostinger page so oh, it took just a, a, a couple of minutes to to get it done and if i just go here i can go to manage site and i will just go to file manager uh, go to public html and uh, i will just create a new file index.html and i will just say hello click save and if i refresh domain here is hello okay so our name cheap domain name is correctly connected to our hostinger web hosting account if your domain name is uh, not registered with uh, Namecheap, uh, don't worry, the process should be the same. Sometimes the user interface looks a little bit different, but this is what you have to look for. Uh, some kind of domain uh, option, DNS option, uh, name server options. 99% of the case, it's, uh, it's something like this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you.